made Enemy Unknown, there's one thing you should know. You lost. The sequel picks up 20 years after the XCOM project fails to defend Earth from an alien invasion. Aliens have taken over the world, and it's up to the player to rebuild XCOM, retake the planet, and make our world safe. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. The game story has the aliens experimenting by splicing together human and alien DNA. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. In XCOM 2, we evolve the enemies into something more fearsome than anything seen in the series. This means that aliens aren't just bigger and badder, they're also smarter. For example, the Mouton's physique tell the player he's less of a beast and more of a soldier. Enemy Unknown's gruesome-looking floater has become a godlike Archon, with upgrades both to its appearance and abilities. The Sectoid in XCOM 2 immediately knows how to mind control, which was a late capability reserved for the Sectoid commander in Enemy Unknown. XCOM 2 has a darker tone and a different look, which directly affects the gameplay. What was once a multinational government-funded project, XCOM has now been reduced to a grassroots resistance. Players are no longer waiting for aliens to strike an area. Now you decide when to take the fight to the aliens and create your own opportunities. The world of XCOM 2 is no longer the one you know. It's vastly more open-ended, and you'll be finding more choices in and out of combat. Tread lightly, because the aliens made Earth a brutal and unforgiving place, where your actions will be met with real consequences. Good luck, Commander.